हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक कंपैरेटर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गो टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंपैरेटर्स सो जनरली ऑल द मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर कॉल्ड एज कंपैरेटर्स it may be either a simple scale or a complex instrument which is incorporating its own standard scale so for an engineering metrologist a comparator is an instrument which is used for the measurement of diameter or length on the gauges and components using slip gauges as standards so for engineering metrologist a comparator is an instrument used for measuring diameters or length on gauges and components using slip gauges as standards so here we can know that comparators are nothing but they are measuring instrument with which we can measure the diameters and the length on the gauges and they use slip gauges as standards so the general principle of all these comparators is to indicate differences in size between the standard and the work being measured by means of some form of pointer on a scale at a magnification which is sufficient to read to the accuracy required so generally what the comparators will do is they will indicate difference between the size of the standard and the work piece which we are measuring by means of some form of pointer or scale at a magnification which is sufficient to read at the required accuracy so all comparators work on the same principle so there are three basic features of comparators so all the comparators irrespective of their type will have these three basic features so basic features of comparators so the comparator will have a sensing device which faithfully senses the input signal so it will have a sensing device so a sensing device which will sense the input signal the second feature is a magnifying or amplifying system to increase the signal to a suitable magnitude so a magnifying or amplifying system to increase the signal to a suitable magnitude so based on this magnifying or amplifying system the comparators are further classified as mechanical optical pneumatic or hydraulic and electronic based on the type of magnifying system they are using the third feature is a display system 
which is usually a scale and a pointer which utilizes the amplified signal and provides a readable output so there is a display signal or display system which utilizes the amplified signal to provide the output so then what is the need for these comparators so why we have to make use of these comparators so the first one is comparator is required in mass production and because mass production would be impossible if component parts not be produced to close dimensional tolerance so comparators are needed where mass production is carried out so without comparators it would be impossible to go for mass production because each and every part cannot be produced to close dimensional tolerance so comparators or comparator is required in mass production which would be impossible if component parts cannot be produced to close tolerance the second need is use of line standards such as vernier and micrometer calipers require a considerable degree of skill if consistent results are to be obtained so we use these comparators because if we instead of comparators if we are using vernier caliper or micrometer it will require a high degree of skill if you want consistent results but it is easy to get the results with the help of these comparators so use of line standards such as vernier and micrometer calipers require a considerable degree of skill if consistent results are to be obtained so there is need of these comparators where dimensions must be checked with high degree of precision and speed in mass production so if you want to check the dimension with the high degree of precision and speed then we have to use these comparator for example piston so it is needed where the dimensions have to be checked with high degree of precision and speed example is piston the fourth and the last need which i am able to count here is where many dimensions are to be checked in very short time so we can use these comparators where many dimensions are to be checked in very short time so we can use these comparators where many dimensions 
are to be checked in a very short time now the next one is the basic requirements of a comparator so what does a comparator require so basic requirements of comparators the first one so the instrument must be of robust design and construction so as to withstand the effect of ordinary usage without impairing its measuring accuracy so the comparator which we are making must be of robust design and construction so it must be strong enough to withstand the effect of ordinary usage so the person who is not skilled also must be able to use them without so the even after hard use this comparator which we are designing must not lose its measuring accuracy so the instrument must be of robust design and construction so as to withstand the effect of ordinary usage without losing its accuracy the second requirement is the indicating device must be such that the readings are obtained in least possible time so the indication of the results must be instant so we need not have to wait for the results so the system must be free from backlash wear effects and the inertia of this system must be minimum so the indicating device or the indicating system must be such that the readings are obtained in least possible time the system must be free from backlash wear effects and inertia should be minimum the third requirement says that provision for maximum compensation to temperature effect so the system must provide accurate results even when the temperature is changing so it must compensate for temperature effects the fourth one is the scale must be linear and must have straight line characteristics so the scale which is indicating the results must be linear and must have straight line characteristics the fifth requirement is the the instrument must be versatile that is its design must be such that we can use it for wide range of measurement so any type of measurements can be made with this instrument the sixth requirement is the measuring pressure should be low and constant the seventh and the last requirement says that the indicator that is the pointer or liquid column should be 
clear and free from oscillations the indicator must be which is indicating the results must be clear and it must be free from oscillations the next is the classification of the comparators so based on the design used for amplification and recording the variations the comparators are classified as so as i have already told you based on the amplification system used the comparators are classified used for amplifying and recording variations the comparators are classified as the first one is the mechanical comparators the second one is the optical comparators the third one is the electrical and electronic comparators the fourth one is the pneumatic comparators the fifth and the last one is the fluid displacement comparators so further the combination of the magnifying principles have resulted in the development of the following comparators so combination of magnifying principles has resulted in development of these comparators so which are they the first one is the mechanical and optical comparator mechanical optical comparator the second one is the electromechanical comparator the third one is the multi check comparator again additional comparators of high sensitivity and magnification are of two types so additional comparators of high sensitivity and magnification are brook levels comparator and the edin rolt or millionth comparator the brooks level comparator and the second one is the the edin rolt which is called as the millionth comparator so this is all about the introduction basic features need for comparator or basic requirements of comparator and the classification of comparators so i hope you have understood the topic thank you